Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Faro to Hellions and we are playing FTL Faster and Light Advanced Edition. And last time we actually lost a crew member. If you haven't seen that episode part two, uh, jump back see it first before continuing. But uh, I digress. Let's continue on our mission to save the Galactic Federation from the rebels. So here we are. Uh, we have no power to actually activate the missiles. So let's see where we can jump. We have a di yeah, distress signal over here, but I'm gonna upgrade the batteries, you know, the power actually, so we can have one more missile as well as our other systems, and then go for the distress beacon. Well, soon we will have to use a distress beacon since we have no fuel. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense astro field is giving off the distress signal. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. We have two shields, let's search. You find what appears to be pieces of the relic ship coated with ice or crystal. Before you have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You'll have to pull out. That sucks. Uh, so basically, if we maybe had one more shield or two, we could have been investigated. But now we took damage instead. And our engines got hit. And uh, Mullet can repair it. Let's see. Uh, another distress signal. Let's go. We need fuel. It appears that the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. We sense opening up a single life form. Come down to the surface and investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Invite him to join your crew. Take him home to his family on a nearby planet in this system. Let's invite him. He states that he was an infant. Uh, he states that he was an infantryman before being stranded. He happily offers his service for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. And we have Charlie, and he's uh, a fighter. So let's see, where can we have Charlie? Um, well, he actually fits quite good there, since um, most likely when people attack, they go for the cockpit. Let's see, we have a store. We need fuel. If you jump there, we can jump back and then go that way. I can't risk getting stranded. So let's hear. With the local rock settlements so unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic mantis crew has postponed its piracy activities and set up shop to catch any passing trade. So let's see here. Hacking stun. All crew inside a room during a hacking pulse will be stunned for the duration. That would be actually quite nice. Hmm. Long range scanners. Ah, at least we need a few. And um, maybe we should go for repairs. Let's go for repairs. Since um, things are getting quite heated, we are at, at sector 5 through 8, so it could be pretty hectic. And we actually have just two weapons still. An ancient device is orbiting within the crystal rings of a nearby gas giant. You can't uh, discern its nature or function, but it seems to have been deactivated for a long time. Perhaps you can get some scrap from it. Scrap it or leave it alone. Let's scrap it. Break it apart and take it for scraps. No one will miss it. 57 scraps. That's actually pretty neat. <clears throat> A pawnbroker set up shop at this obscure beacon. He might be offering something worth looking at. Three missiles for two drones. No, thank you. Let's see here. Let's uh, jump over here. <coughs> Sorry. You are immediately messaged by an imposing looking rock wall vessel. You are the ship off to save the Federation, aren't you? 
and you expect to survive with that hunk of junk. We're going to save them or die trying. We are strong enough to destroy you. Ignore them. We're going to save them or die trying. The latter being more likely. Still, we can potentially help you and your precious fleet, but you need to prove yourself first. Meet us at the coordinate at this coordination, the jump away. Add a quest marker to your map. Thank God for that sort of. So that's gonna be pretty quick. And I'm quite intrigued about I haven't had that mission before. So let's go for it. And thank God we had a store with fuel. Let's get that fuel back up. <clears throat> We have boarding drones, combat drones, um, crew. So basically nothing else of use. Let's load up on more missiles. And drone pilots. Jump. This is gonna be tight. No one bothers your ship as you float among numerous space stations and mining platforms. The rocks certainly run efficient operations. Let's go for the quest. You are arrived at the coordinates given and find yourself dangerous close to an M class star. The other ship messaged you. Let us see how long your pure ship can handle this heat. Prefer, prepare for challenge. Oh shit. The rock ship starts to power up their FTL. If you are going to earn their trust, we must endure the heat for as long as we can. This is gonna get the interesting. And they are boarding us as well. Those fuckers. Let's see here. Our infantryman. Oh, crap. Out on the shields. Shields have taken a massive hit. Let's see, I get off the engines and repair. And the bomb has to heal. And uh, more to actually have to fight here. Okay, you don't have to fight the jump back. Thank God. No weapons. <clears throat> Let's go off and their engines. Missile their shields. Shoot their engines. They actually have one weapon up. Not for long. And we have fire. They have as well. And that missile will miss. Let's see here. Come back here. Molot can the go. Battle Enion. You heal up. Bob, what was your arm? Let's go for the sensors. Let's go for shields. Solar flare imminent. Uh, mullet. Uh, well, now let's hit shield duty. Okay, Some more fire. Let's take that fire out. Take the guns out. Let's just keep blasting the shields and then go for the guns. 
Oh, that's pretty bad. Now our... Fuck. Since that door got destroyed, we can actually... Well, you can repair, you won't take any damage. Oh shit, you do take damage, never mind. So we actually have to do this pretty quick. We took him out. We need... Ship breaks apart and you feel a twinge of guilt. Perhaps they could have helped the Federation if they had gone another way. You scrap what you can and prepare to jump off the heap. And we actually have to jump before we get bound to death. And our engines is going down. Please repair. Okay, so now we can close up. And open up here. To not spread the fire anymore. Get that oxygen level up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is getting pretty dangerous. Whew, that was close. Whew. At least everyone lives, right? I wonder if that uh, could have gone in any other way. Let's see here. Um, let's heal up and jump. And let's uh, have you back here instead. Let's try that now. Ah, oh, shit, we're gonna die. I miscalculated so bad that mission was not worth it. Um, so we're gonna have to do one, two, and three inside our zone. And we only have two fuels. Ah, oh, okay, this sucks. Another rock ship. Thank you. This is so not going boating well. Could have been worse, right? We could already be dead. Uh, fire here, let's open up. And we can take him out. I think. Let that fire burn you up since you can't escape that room. Let's uh, close all doors. One Rockman dead. 
Let's not waste any more missiles. Just keep shooting them. A lot more fuels. That would not be likely to save us. You find a slow cruise and a rock ship had a standoff. Both weapons are armed, ready to fight. You could in intervene before it's getting out of hand. Let's do it. Uh, the slow captain explains that they, they operated rock ships, reacted now they thick boulder heads so if you seem to pay for the work done. The rock captain says these slime boy slime balls did a poor job and that's not worth the agreed upon price. Well let's do this, let's pay. The slow captain opens a free reactor upgrade for your help. It now hurts to get a little power boost. So that could, that went very well. Well, so let's do this since we're gonna cost 100 to upgrade. So let's do this instead. Um, next jump will be where the rebels are so let's upgrade as much as we can for dodge and FTL and let's get hell out of dodge basically since we are going here to travel to the next sector and the rebels are everywhere four shields we will have nothing to do against them so what I'm going to do I'm going to try to jump as fast as I can get their guns offline and try to hold on for as long as I can and hopefully that ASB the fleet's anti-ship batteries will not destroy our engines while the FTL drive is charging. Let's see here. Oh crap. It's not even worth... Okay, maybe one missile. Yes, so... Um, they don't fire. Well, at least we took out one weapon. Together hacking. They missed, thank god. Let's jump. Let's go to the next sector. Rebel control or rock controlled? Let's go rock. Whew. That was actually pretty tense. Another rock um, sector. But we live. Barely, but hey, we live. Uh, that was one. That was very tense. Very tense. But still, we are not out of the woods yet. We have just one fuel, no missiles, sector six, and we still have our basic weapons. So, unless we Upgrade pretty quick, this is gonna end pretty bad. So let's see what this sector brings, shall we? We have distress signal. Let's get as far as away from this side of the map as possible since we only have one fuel. Unless we get fuel in the next jump, we're gonna have to send out our the distress signal ourselves. Ourselves. So let's see here. A ship hails you. Good sir. Uh, it seems you are having trouble with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep required on this hunk of yarn can fly. Maybe we can come to an agreement. We could use some scraps, and they have bombs. And um, let's see here. I don't want to fight. 
since we only have one burst laser and we can't really penetrate their shields. But we need fuel, so let's fight them for fuel. Mercenaries are worse than rebels, the only honorable course is the engagement is to engage the mercenary in battle. Um, let's hope we win, so they actually have to fall. Let's see how... Burst laser, the shields. Blast or separate. Damn it. That's good, that's good, just keep shooting. Not do your job. Okay, we have to take out their shields. No, engines rather. Even though the shields are still up. Not even one hit, come on. He used to go for himself. Well, they actually have a clone base, so why not? Since if that guy dies, he just comes back. The engines are out, that's good. Let's get the engines. Jump imminent. Damn it. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Pirates right, jumped away. Jump. No fuel. We can wait and hopefully no one will come. Since we have no distress beacon, so it's just random luck. But if we toggle the beacon on, some might come to take advantage of us or actually help us. A ship responded to your distress moves in. Unfortunately, it turns out to be an automatic rebel scout. It means you see reverse the thrust after scanning your ship. And they Probably gonna warn them. Let's see here, let's take out the guns and go. I should have to go for the FDL drive. Damn it. Let's hope we hit and they don't supercharge the FDL. Thank god. Let's take out the guns. Could have been worse. Technically, most here yeah, could be worse. Whew. Still no fuel, but we might get one fuel if we actually destroy this thing. No fuel. That sucks. Let's heal up. But we have one missile. Let's hope. Let's make it count. Everyone go back. Go back here. Let's uh, wait. And here we see the rebels coming after us. A refugee ship uh, fleeing the rebel advance and the system. Having picked up your recess beacon while it doesn't have much fuel to spare. It all looks damaged. It is in bad need of scrap and is willing to trade fuel for it. NG crew, negotiate a better trade. To NG analyze the scans of the extensive damage to the whole calculated potential repair costs, the refugees grumble and protest, but in the end they admit that, that their need for repairs is greater 
in the fuel surplus and offers a better trade. So we get six fuel for ten. That is splendid. We can actually jump. <laughs> So let's see, uh, Curious Side uh, greets you at this beacon. A disabled rock fighter drifts in space while two Mantis crafts battle it out, presumably over who deserves a spoils. Wait and attack to survive Mantis or ignore them. The Mantis craft may have their differences, but when it comes to you, they are of one mind. The smaller ship suffers a power failure as it moves to engage, but a larger one lets out a volley of fire and moves into attack. That's actually a big ship. Yeah, three shields uh, to f uh, fight this. We actually had to take out the shields. They are going right here. Um, no. Let's make it count. Also, where are we gonna put the missile? Let's see here. Hmm. So they can't come back. And hopefully this will work. So we left Bob all alone. Let's get your revenge, Bob. Let's keep shooting. We could actually win this. Let's keep shooting. Yeah. No shields. Let's take them out. Let's take out. So they can't come back. Take out. Yeah. Uh, let him Sean repair it. Let's keep shooting. Yeah. And we made it. Damn, that's good. In the time it took you to eliminate the managed ship, the rock must have repaired the FTL drive and jumped away. You pick up. The bonus of both mass vessels. A lot of scraps. Nellis and Mort. Heal up and let's jump away. We need to find better weapons. A distress signal, let's go. Might be a good reward. A ship with our uh, life on forms. Let's see. Let's investigate. Hmm. We had this earlier. We did no changes to our shields or anything. We just took five damage to the hole again. I'm such an idiot. This could be the end for us. We have intruders on board, a rock ship at us. This could get interesting. And our shields wasn't repaired. Let's see here. Take the weapon start as fast as possible. And let's unload on their shields. We missed everything. Great. 
At least we killed one rock man. That was the last of our missiles. We should jump. Like, really. Jump. We found a disabled rock transfer floating near the beacon. You consider stripping it for useful parts, but I'm uncertain why it's there in the first place. Let's strip it. It could be a trap, but we need it. Decide what you can from the ship. No one bothers you during the operation. Please, a store. Two stores. Thank God. Or. Whatever. Let's see here. First of all, fix all. Whew. And uh, an anti combat drone we can sell. Heavy laser. Let's see here. If we sell this for 19, since we have no missiles anyway. Um, but we need fuel. Heavy laser requires 3 power, as far as I have 13 seconds. Normal damage 2. It only shoots twice, but it does 2 damage. The one we have shoots 3 times, so it penetrates 2 shields. <laughs> Let's go to our other shop, I think. Let's get some fuel. Now let's jump. Right in the middle of an asteroid field. Okay, let's do this. Take out those shields. Hope we survive. Oh crap. Shields are critical, we have no shields, we are going. This is them for us. We are catastrophically outmatched, we have to jump now. Come across a rock trading post. It's really a deal with outsiders, but they need to sell the last of their stock. I will pay their dues for the trunk area. Transgression when they return home. Let's close this for a minute and let's all out repair. Let's leave that room. It's burning anyway. Fix the oxygen. And then close all doors. Um, let's go back to repair. You need to heal up. We're still surviving, but this is not a good run. So let's see here. Store. Burst laser. Mark 1. It gets the job done. Or flak. Let's choose 3 charges. 2 charges. Let's go for flak and sell. Let's see here. We need to upgrade. Didn't think of that. Ship uh, upgrade. It will cost 35. Oh, damn it. Oh, 
How is this then for us again? This has been close all around. We have to survive this twice. Without the leadership of Captain Hellion, this mission was doomed, I think. Do not mess with Arachnids. Oh boy. Thank God for that. Let's go. Let's go for exit. Let's do this again. Take out their weapons. Go repair. We took out Fan almost. Come on, let's jump. Let's jump. Can't stay here. Next sector energy control. Let's get some help. Oh, <laughs> This is getting a close call. We arrived at Engie Space. The fall of the Federation has uh, brought you tough times for these robotic life forms, but they are usually willing to help, especially when we have crew that is Engie. <sighs> we should have been killed a long time ago. We have a store energy signal. Let's go through the store. We need fuel. Uh, a message. Your scraps are ours. Our weapons yours. Before they thought we were going to kill them. No. Before we raised the shield, we realized uh, an energy trader looking for trade. So let's see. First up, fuel. And. Uh, Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Let's uh, keep going. Okay, let's see here. We have done this now twice. Giant spiders are no joke, but let's see if we can actually help. Declan is gone. Oh, damn it. That's uh, two out of three. <sighs> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Why is it always a pilot? Why did we send in the pilot? Let's see, who can fly this thing? Well, Charlie will have to fly. Ah, oh, damn it. And I have a chance drop to 35. Instead of 40, that's not good. But still. As I always say, it could be worse. The complex arrangement of ship holes and FTL driver capacitors floating abandoned in space suggests the NG were here not too long ago, but no longer. So, probably killed recently. We have two fuels left. Yikes. You come across a mantis raider taking pot shots at a defenseless NG supply station. Discovering its weapons are in much of a match for the station's armor, it turns on your ship. Battle stations. Well, fuck me. We can't do shit. We have burst laser doing free shots, they have free uh, shields. So. We just have to go for FTL drive and jump. Since let's see it. We shoot. That's all that's happening. It's gonna happen. So let's get out of here quick. 
you have firewood? We do. Let's jump. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and S and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew managed to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Hacking system. Counter the remote hacking. Your hacking system automatically counters the dearest whole assault and you move in to fight the ship. Well, I usually say it could be worse. Now it is worse. We are still boarded. We are getting assaulted. Uh, they are free shields, so we have to jump before we all die. Help? Anyone? Please? We have no shields. Uh, no engines. At least they decided to fight us in the med bay. Idiots. And that's about it. Uh, fire is roaming. We will burn to death. The Kestrel has failed this mission. The game over. We came to Sector 7. Without the uh, lead of Captain Hellion, as we lost last episode, the mission was doomed to fail. It was a very interesting run. Um, it was fun since it was harder than normal, since they get in, didn't have enough scraps all the time for new weapons and upgrades. And we took a risk with that rock quest. It could have paid off, but it didn't. And um, this is what I like about this game. Uh, it twists and turns. One run is going great, the other one you doesn't even get out of sector one or maybe two. Now, even with this miserable run, we came to sector seven. This is what I really love about this game. Uh, I got my ass kicked, but I enjoyed every second of it. I recommend this game to anyone and like strategy and somewhat micromanagement. You could um, just skip pausing mid-fight and such, but I actually like to slow it down a bit. I like turn-based games and such, so uh, this quite blends it with real-time and turn-based. Um, I will make a few more runs uh, and try another ship. Uh, I actually beaten this game several times with the Crestler, there's nothing wrong with it. But let's uh, spice it up a notch and take another ship. Um, if you have a suggestion or wish, leave a comment and I run with that ship. And yeah, let's see what happens then. Um, if you like this video or the previous ones, uh, please press the like button. If you dislike it, there's a button for that. Please subscribe. Um, Really, really boost my confidence and I make more content. Um, hope you enjoyed it. This has been Fought of Two Hellions and we played FTL, Faster Than Light, Advanced Edition, and I love this game. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.